Tonight, Davis police are warning women of tainted drinks at popular restaurants and bars. We first reported on this issue earlier this spring. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adrienne Moore. And I'm Tony Lopez. We're now learning since June 1st there have been six more confirmed cases. It's really scary because I go out of bars sometimes. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live in downtown Davis with the latest on this growing problem and a story you'll see only on CBS 13. Rachel? Well, three of those reports resulted in sex assault investigations. Whether people are more aware of it or whether it's happening more often, authorities want to know who was responsible. What they're reporting is complete. Like, I don't remember the last two or three hours, or I woke up somewhere and I have no idea how I got there. Davis police are investigating six more roofie reports since June 1st in downtown Davis. Young females going out with friends, um, consuming alcohol, and then reporting a lapse of consciousness that is not consistent with the amount of alcohol that they've consumed. Authorities say specific bars are not named because the women had been to several before realizing what had happened. One of the incidents happened at a fraternity party. I'm speechless because I have a lot of friends that uh, obviously we go out and you know once in a while someone can buy you a drink which is really scary hearing about this. Women we spoke with are always cautious when they go out. You definitely should have a buddy um, and make sure that you look at who's making your drinks. But now they'll be even more cautious and so will staff. So we try to like take care of like the people that are around us. Victor Oliveira has worked security and been a bouncer downtown. If we see anybody that's disoriented or it's like, you know, it's time to go home. You know, we try to keep everybody as safe as possible. Davis bars take part in special training to increase awareness and participate in a special police training twice a year. We do a bar meeting here at the police department. We invite ABC. They come um, from time to time. And, uh, you know, this will definitely be a topic of training coming up in the future bar meeting. Now, there are coasters out there that can actually tell whether or not a drink has a drug in it, but we talked with some of the bars here, and they say they don't use those coasters. Now, the police department really wants to push UC Davis to put together some sort of an informational campaign because of what's been going on this year. We contacted UC Davis via text. We have not heard their response. Again, this is a very important story. A lot of people talking about it downtown here tonight. Yeah, and an ongoing dialogue about it is very important, Rachel. And it's also important to note if you don't get the drink yourself, don't take it. If somebody comes up to you, just pass on that cocktail. All right, thanks so much for that live report. Mm -hmm.